Ms. Moore, I'm going to tell you once again, you need to compose yourself. Dee Dee Moore breaks down again. Now at six, what she shouted out in court before the judge scolded her today. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Brenda McLaughlin. It was another Dee Dee Moore meltdown inside the Hillsborough County courtroom today. Moore shouted in court right before today's break for lunch. Our Ryan Race is live outside the courthouse now. He's been following this case for some weeks with what Moore said and how the judge handled it, right? Hey guys, by our count, this is the fourth or fifth time Dee Dee Moore has had a breakdown in court. And this one ended the same of all the others. A nice scolding by the judge. Another day, another outburst. Ms. Moore, I'm going to tell you once again, you need to compose yourself. Uh, do you understand that? Right after the jury walked out for a break, Moore can be heard shouting, I am tired of these people lying, and this is my life. We're not going to go back and forth. You need to compose yourself, and I'm about to give you time to do that and to speak to your lawyer. Part of the reason for Moore's frustration is the testimony from Shakespeare's ex-girlfriend, Centora Butler. She testified that Moore offered her a car and house if she would help mislead detectives searching for Shakespeare. Butler went to police instead. Because she wanted to know about all of his assets, and she was like, I can help you clean him out. Moore was so adamant that Butler was lying, she pushed her attorneys to play a video she took of Butler that she says proves she's being dishonest. She took the video for the book she claimed she was writing on the lotto winner. While there are contradictions, Butler testified that's because Moore told her what to say. Did you lie about that on the video? Yes, your okay. client used a lot of coercion to make up a big fat fib. Now, I just stepped out of the courtroom uh, a few moments ago. Within the last hour, an undercover detective took the stand. The state says this is the quote-unquote fall guy, the man that they say Dee Dee was going to pay to take the blame for Abraham Shakespeare's death. And coming up tonight at 11 o'clock, we'll play you some of the audio recordings between the two. That's tonight at 11. Front on Live in Tampa, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.